but we are state representatives and we have a, a we have a, a different charge, a larger charge, where we need to look at our whole state. We need to look at, at things that are not exciting, but our credit rating and, and the cost of doing business in our state. And we need to fix this because we have had, as um, has been brought forward, we've just been a roller coaster. We've gone up and down. We have uh, we've had uh, different organizations come to us and say, please don't shift. But then when they, they're faced with the um, with the prospect of not getting new monies, not getting new monies that they need, or, and uh, either facing a large cut or a shift, of course they ask for a shift. And then, in the face of the, the needs that we, um, that they are facing, with an ever-increasing achievement gap, with an ever-increasing student population, of course they come and say we need new money. And what I'm saying is that we need to do both that we do need to pay back the shift and we do need to find new money to address these issues. And today, the part that I'm talking to you about is, is taking a huge first step toward that and paying back um, the delayed payment part of the shift. 